Alrighty guys, I am back. It has been a very long time and I apologize for that. We are here with a tipping video, finally. Shout out to all the guys that um, you know, have sort of been messaging me on Instagram and Discord and wondering where I've been. I apologize. I have um, just been busy with my time doing other things um, and yeah, just haven't really been um, you know, super duper into the tips at the moment, or I guess, you know, that being my priority. So I apologize for that. I do want to get back into this and um, it's not that this is something that I want to stop. So we are back. Uh, there won't be a match day vlog this week though. I was at the Fremantle Collingwood game, uh, just didn't have time to edit a vlog. So I just thought there'd be no point recording it, but I'm going to try and get two videos out this week. Um, if you're in the Discord, you guys already know I'm planning on doing a power ranking video today. Um, as well as the tipping video that should be out on Monday when you're watching this. So that's the plans. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump straight into the round 19 tips. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go back to round 16. I think the round, the last tipping video I did was round 15, um, if I am correct. Now I'll just show you on round 16 and how terribly I've been doing by the way. Like I may have been gone with the tips, but um, I haven't gotten any better. And I've seriously just tried to not think about it anymore, but it's just not helping. So I think I'm just getting, honestly, there's always a luck element to tipping sure, but I think I'm really getting the bad end of that stick because all these 50-50 games I'm tipping have just gone terrible. Uh, but if we throw back to round 15, this Brisbane Lions-Richmond game, that was just a terrible tip. I tipped an upset that was probably one in a thousand games. Um, 999 times Brisbane win that. So yeah, and I'll just show you some other stuff. Sydney over Geelong, I went to Sydney. That was, I was actually gutted about that one because Sydney should have won that game. And this is what I'm talking about, the 50-50s. That, that was one of those that just should have gone my way and didn't. Uh, and then the Essendon one as well, Essendon. They lost after the siren, another 50-50 that I should have won. Like it, uh, if I got all these 50-50 games or even half of the 50-50 games in my mind, I'd be doing so much better uh, in the tips. Another one here, Melbourne, two points. Like I think in this round alone, three tips I lost by what? Four points there, two points there. Um, oh, okay, it was just the two tips, but yeah. So that round, a few, oh, and then, yeah, and then the one point um, with the Sydney Geelong. So, you know, four or five points and I get an extra three tips if they go my way. Round 17, didn't get much better. Six out of seven. Sydney, uh, they were up on most of this game, then Richmond just bet them in the second half. So that was, you know, not a great one there. Marvel, we played really good in this game. Uh, for, for the most part, really good third quarter. Um, but the Doggies, you know, they made it hard. They're a good team. So it wasn't an easy win there by any means. Um, and then, yeah, just a few other ones. St. Kilda, don't really know why I went them because they're just, uh, they're pretty average. Uh, and then Frio at home, just terrible. So, um, yeah, and then what was it? Round 18 last week, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the Doggies, again, another game they should have won um, and, and they lost by two points. Like, these, this is another 50-50. And then, uh, or was this, this was this week. Yeah, this week, sorry. Um, oh, no, actually, it was last week. Two points, the round that's just gone. Uh, and look at this. In the first two games, that was, what, three points between them. Doggies should have won. Um, and the Lions, I mean, they let one slip here by a big time. I think they were up by, what, maybe 30 points at one stage uh, in the third quarter, and they lost that. Just disappointing, really, for the, for the Lions. Uh, and the MCG curse still goes on. I know they bet Melbourne in the final last year, but one out of 20 games isn't breaking the curse, is it? Um, Freo, we got that done easy against them. Um, could have been by more uh, margin as well, but sort of let that one get a little bit closer than I would have liked, but that's fine. Uh, Gold Coast got it done against St. Kilda. Port Adelaide dropped one against Carlton. Um, so Carlton are, you know, starting to actually show that they're not terrible anymore. So maybe I'll start thinking about tipping them. I think I will actually have to start thinking about tipping them now. They're the bet Port. Geelong, we all know they were going to win that. Adelaide at Adelaide Oval dropped one. The Giants have been seriously decent. Uh, and they've put themselves right into finals contention. So we'll see. That'd be truly um, impressive if the Giants were to make finals. So yeah, that was that round. Now going on to round 19 here. Starting off with Essendon taking on the Western Bulldogs. I mean, this is difficult because honestly, both of these teams have been so inconsistent and so hard to read. But I think I am leaning towards the Western Bulldogs just because they've been better in the games they have lost. I mean, Essendon, I can't even remember their last couple losses, but against Geelong, they were just 
Um, they showed nothing really, and I, I can't even remember who they lost to in these two games. Um, oh, Fremantle at Optus Stadium. Never got close to winning that. And Port Adelaide at Mar oh, the MCG. That, that was stiff to lose that one. But I think I'm going to go the Western Bulldogs. And I'm going to say it's going to be close because I still don't have full faith in the Western Bulldogs. Though they should really win this. Um, if you look at the stars they've got in the team, um, guys like Jamari Hagen, uh, Cody Waitman, Aaron Norton, Bonten Pally, Libertore, Jack McRae, the list goes on. And they are just losing these tight ones that they really should be winning. So I'm going to say surely they win this at Marvel Stadium. Though it wouldn't blow my mind if Essendon were to win this. Uh, so moving on to their next one. Um, it has to be said, Hawthorne have been uh, better than, well, I'd probably, if I was to do the power rankings video right now, I'd probably put them above Frio on uh, current form. Though they still have, you know, lost three out of their last four. Pretty good win against North Melbourne, though North Melbourne really are just getting nowhere, are they? So I will still be going Richmond in this one. They've been pretty good. I don't think they're capable of winning finals uh, or, or making finals. I don't know. It's going to be close, but I will, yeah, say they, they beat Hawthorne here, uh, and that will keep them in the finals race. Next up here, we've got Carlton taking on West Coast. Um, they will win this game, Carlton, and they will continue... They might even get themselves actually in the top eight if Essendon lose and if the Giants lose. Now, who do the Giants play? I know I'm getting ahead of myself here. So, yeah, there's, there's actually a chance that Carlton are sitting in eighth position after this round, which is just insane to think about. But they have won four out of their last four, five games. I mean, they had a bye. So, yeah, um, Carlton will win this. And it's really just a question of how much. I think they won it by over 100 points at the start of the year and playing West Coast twice, geez, it'd be a pity for Carlton fans if they don't make the top eight playing West Coast twice. Um, anyone who gets to play West Coast twice this year, uh, very, very lucky. So yeah, next up here, close one. We do have the Lions at the Gabba taking on Geelong. This would be a little bit of an upset if Geelong were to win this. Not a huge upset because Geelong always stack up good against Brisbane here. As you can see, winning four out of the last five. Um, though it has to be said, the one they did lose was at the Gabba here. Or, well, they did beat them um, at the Gabba in 2020, but honestly, too far to even look back. Um, even really 2021, you could argue, is too far to look back. So the last two times, they played at GMHBA, and they've won by um, 10 points, and then, like, what, 60 points respectively in the semifinal. Um, at the Gabba, though, I mean, you just cannot go against the Lions this year. I mean, you can really if you're a ballsy tipper, not like me. But I'm going to go the safe options because I've been terrible lately. And I'm going to say, yeah, Brisbane Lions get it done by probably 12 points for those who are curious about the margin if I was to do one. Um, yeah, it's I can see Geelong winning this. Um, Brisbane, they, they don't usually drop ones at home. I mean, look at that. Gabba, Gabba. They won at Marvel. They want a Gabba, so yeah, they just they just seem it's it's really just an MCG thing at the moment for for the Lions. So you'd hate to see them lose at the Gabba if you were a Lions fan. They really need to win this. So um, yeah, and they're, and they're still yeah. If they lose this, there's absolutely no chance they make the top two. Um, even at the moment, it's looking unlikely with um, Port having a two-game lead on them. But yeah, we'll go to the Brisbane Lions. Uh, enough of the rambling for that one. Um, Frio and Sydney at Optus. Frio won this, didn't they, last time? They broke the streak against Sydney, but they just haven't gotten better. Frio, they've had some really inconsistent results. And I, seriously, if they go on and beat Sydney at the SC... Oh, no, this is at Optus, this one, isn't it? Oh, even that's tough because they just haven't been that great at Optus either. Um, oh. Yeah, this is a tough one. This is a real tough one here because they bet them at the SCG earlier in the year, but wouldn't it be funny if the results switch and they lose at their home game? Um, Frio fans, how would you be feeling about this? Because, I mean, they haven't been... I think they've lost two of their last three out of at Optus. Um, well, they lost one at the MCG, lost against uh, Carlton at Optus. Honestly, it's a coin toss here for me because they've just both been average, these two teams, even even though they met the best in Bulldogs last week. Um, 
Oh, all right, I'll go Frio at home. Jeez, don't know about that one. Don't know about that one, to be honest. Um, make sure you guys leave your tips down below. But moving on to probably the biggest home and away game of the year that isn't, you know, your Anzac Day or your Queen's birthday. I think this is the biggest. This game, we are gonna find out heaps. Like, genuinely, I've been eyeing off this game for probably a month now, and um, it sucks. I mean, it sucks in a way that Carlton did beat Port Adelaide because it would have set up a massive game where, um, you know, Port Adelaide going on a potential 14 game streak and Collingwood, you know, sort of standing in their way and being the one team that would have a pretty good chance at stopping it, you'd think. But now it's, um, the pressure's on Port Adelaide a little bit. It is at home, but they did lose a game against Carlton that most people would have thought they would have won. Carlton obviously getting into a little bit of form. Now, I think um, Port Adelaide actually do have, uh, what, two or three players maybe out. I can't remember off the top of my head um, who those players are, so I won't even go, go and try and name them. I think Jason or Francis was one of them, but that's all I'm really... Uh, have heard so I'm not too sure but that might weigh into this a little bit but as a pie supporter if we win this game I will be confident that we have what it takes to win the grand final this year now you may be questioning that because we've already bet port at the MCG but I don't want to just be beating port at the MCG I want to be able to beat them home and away so if we do beat them at Adelaide Oval um, that being home and away, that really tells me that we are head and shoulders above Port Adelaide. So that's why I really do value this game. And um, I think I'll go ahead and say, it. if we win this game, the grand, well, yeah, the, the the flag is probably ours to lose, and rightly so. I mean, this is really the last sort of test. Like we've sort of passed every other challenge this year. Uh, I mean, maybe, you can, maybe you can argue, yeah, we didn't beat Melbourne uh, on the Queen's birthday, but I don't really take a heap out of that. But maybe some people do, so that's a valid point. But I am, yeah, going to say that, and I, I will obviously be backing the pies. We are favourites, which is, um, you know, saying a little bit. Not huge favourites, and I wouldn't be surprised if this changes. It is the Monday as I'm recording this, so I wouldn't be surprised if this changes. Um... By, what is it? It's the Friday night. What a massive game this is going to... Is it Friday or is it Saturday night? Um, no, that's not Friday. Is, is this the Sunday? No, it's a Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night. I thought it was a Friday night, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, huge game. Let me know what you guys are going to be doing for this one. Um, yeah, I do think some people will probably go Port Adelaide, and yeah, rightly so. Next up here, we've got the Giants taking on the Suns at Monica Oval. I'm going to go ahead and say the Giants uh, win this. Wouldn't surprise me a whole heap if the Suns did win it. Um, they bet them in round three this year by, what, 20-something points. Um, the Giants have been pretty good. I, I know the Giants do have one ground they play at where they can't seem to get a win. I don't know if it's Monica or a different ground. I'm not actually sure there. But regardless of whatever that sort of um, curse is, I guess you could say, I am just going to go the Giants. Um, they've been really good. They've got some... They, they still have a lot of stars on that list and it's I guess it is sort of it is impressive where they are but maybe not surprising for some um because yeah, I mean they're just playing well and Adam Kinsley is honestly doing a really good job at the moment I even said this earlier in the year it doesn't surprise me a whole heap because even yeah earlier in the year I thought they were pretty good for some of the games that they were losing so yeah I'll go Giants in this one next up at the MCG um we have Melbourne taking on Adelaide I think yeah this one I am going to go ahead and say Melbourne do win it. Adelaide, I mean, they're losing games at home now, which they weren't really doing um, pre-buy. They were sort of... Every game at the Adelaide Oval was almost a lock for them. I think they did lose one to the Brisbane Lions, maybe. Um, or did they win that game? I can't remember. Um, but, yeah, I'll go ahead and... Yeah, Melbourne win this game, you'd think, by 20 or 30 points. They should be better. But... Uh, and, and they have come off a good win as well. So... Yeah, but again, I, I do say this all the time. It wouldn't seriously surprise me if Adelaide were able to uh, get a win here. So, yeah, that's it. And then lastly, well, this is probably one of the worst fixtures of the year. And St. Kilda seem to always play in these 440 games at Marvel Stadium. The last time these guys played, it feels like it was only five weeks ago. Um, this was an absolute stinker of a game. What a, what a terrible game this was. Um, North Melbourne 
Four ten thirty four. Honestly, I'm. I think North Melbourne have a genuine chance of winning this. Saint Kilda have just not been great, and it seriously baffles me how they are still, still in the top six because all these other teams around them are losing games. I will tip North Melbourne though because I'm not a ballsy tipper, as I've said in this video. Um, but yeah, that that wraps it up for my tips, guys. Um, spend a little bit more time on this one because it's been such a, a long time since I've done the tips. Should have a power ranking video coming out later in the week um, as well. But yeah, maybe we can beat four out of nine. At this point, I'm not going to be doing any good in any sort of competition. Um, so if I could just get a nine out of nine to make myself feel better, that'd be great. But I highly doubt it. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it. Um, we'll go ahead and say smooth as mayo for the subway vote as well. Submit those tips. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, Cheers to everyone who has stuck around and who is watching this video at the moment. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Discord, uh, Twitter, all that down below. And I'll catch you guys in my next video and hopefully the tipping videos to continue for the rest of the year. Um, yeah, peace out.